Okay, let's have a look at direct and indirect speech. Okay, so direct speech is someone's direct words. Like I say, my cop is here. It's his words that what he is saying. And then changing it to indirect is when someone else is telling you what he said. So I say that sy cop is. Okay, so let's have a look at the language rules. So the first thing we need is a conjunction, a fugwoord. So if we've got a statement, then our conjunction is dat. We get two types of questions. A question that starts with a verb and a question that starts with a question word, an interrogative pronoun. So if our, it starts with a verb, then our conjunction is off. If it starts with a question word, an interrogative pronoun, then that stays the conjunction. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to move the verb to this verb to position. So at the end of the sentence, before the infinitive. So if we've got stompy, the verb comes before the infinitive. Okay, I just want to show you these are all the hulpwerkwoorde. There's another one, mag. Um, so all of these ones are always with a different word in the, with a, all of these ones goes with another verb. Okay, so it can't be in the sentence alone. It goes with another verb. Remember, verbs can't jump over each other. So I'm showing you in the examples, but just remember this as well. Just keep it in mind. Then the next rule is we have to change the pronouns. So ak either becomes hey or say, depending if it's a man or a woman. May becomes say of har. Remember, say is if it's a man, har if it's a woman. Ons becomes yulle. So we becomes you. In yulle becomes hulle. You becomes they. Okay, so we're going to change the conjunction, move the verb, and change the pronouns. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Hij zei, ik wil winkel to gaan. Let's just get rid of all these underlying. Okay, so what are we going to do? We need a conjunction. So over here, where the punctuation is, we're going to have a conjunction. So we're going to say, I say, that part stays the same. The I say does not change. Um, and then this punctuation here becomes the conjunction. I say dot. Okay, we're going to change the pronouns, ak. We're going to change the, v the verbs, vol and gaan. Okay, so they, I said they don't jump over each other, so it's going to be first vol and then gaan. So, ek becomes hij. Ah, what am I doing? Hij. The verb moves, so then we've got vinkel. To, and in the verbs is vol gaan. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Sy fra. So that part stays the same and the conjunction is going to be here. Sy fra. Now what is our conjunction going to be? This is a question. There's a question mark. And we're starting with mag, which is a verb. So, the conjunction is going to be off. Alright. Verb is going to move to the end and the pronoun is going to change. So, say fra of say a cool drunk. And in the verbs, mag, I said, is also an auxiliary verb. 
So that goes to the end and it's mach krei. And now we don't have a question mark anymore. We've got a, punk, a, a full stop. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. So hulle fra stays the same. We're going to put in a conjunction here. We've got a question with a question word. So this question word is going to be our conjunction. Okay, then this is a verb and there is no pronoun. So dit, pose, and the verb at the end. Hulle vra, wanneer is dit pauze? Hulle vra, wanneer dit pauze is? Die meisie vra, waar is my pop? The girl asks, where is my doll? So this part, die meisie vra, stays the same. Here we're going to have a conjunction. It's a question with a question word, an interrogative pronoun. So that's going to stay our conjunction. Var. Is must move because it's a verb. And may must change because it's a pronoun. So the may si fra var har. Okay, and then we've got the pop. The verb moves to the end. Is. Die meisie fra, waar is my pop? Die meisie fra, waar haar pop is? Next, die vrou wil weet, that stays the same. If you don't know what wil weet means, don't bother, because it's a question. It ends with a question mark. Kan is a verb, so our punctuation is going to go away and our um, conjunction is going to be off. Okay, we've got ek and mei, which is both pronouns. So, die vrou wil weet of sy haar haar kan snij. Okay, sy in haar are the pronouns then we've got hara kan is an auxiliary verb so it also has another verb so at the end we've got kan snai die vrou wil weet kan ek my hara snai die vrou wil weet of sy haar hara kan snai ok next my oom sê, ek wil my kar verf. So, my oom sê, stays the same. We've got a statement. So, instead of punctuation, we're going to have a conjunction. It's a statement, so our conjunction is dat. Okay, what else have we got? Ek is a pronoun. My is a pronoun. In vol is a verb. It's an auxiliary verb, so it always has another verb in the sentence. So my oom say dat. Ek becomes hy. My becomes sy. Kar. And then the verbs at the end. Vol verf. My oom say Ek wil my kar verf. My oom sê dat, hy sy kar wil verf. Ok, two more. Die meisie sê, ons gaan sê toe. So die meisie stays the same. Die meisie sê. It's a statement and this changes to a conjunction. Dat. Ons is a pronoun. And gaan is a verb. 
So die meisie sê dat hulle So hulle is our um, pronoun then see it do and the verb moves to the end gone okay my tani say ek lees graag boeken so it becomes my this part stays the same my tani say okay it's a statement so this punctuation is going to change to dat ek is a pronoun en lees is a verb so my tani say dat sy graag boeken stays where it is and lees moves to the end Okay. My Tani sê ek lees graag boeken. My Tani sê dat sy graag boeken lees. I just quickly want to go up to the top again and go over the ver over the rules. So we've got the conjunction that's dat of or a question word. We move the verb to the end. And we change the pronouns. Ek becomes hy of sy. My becomes sy of haar. Ons becomes, apologies, that must be hulle. Just make sure you change that in your notes. Ons becomes hulle. And jylle becomes hulle. Alright, now let's do it the opposite way. If they give it to you in indirect speech, and you must change it to direct then we're going to just do the opposite. So if you're confused with which one's which and what am I supposed to do, just have a look at the punctuation. If there is punctuation, we add a conjunction. If there's no punctuation, we take the conjunction away. Okay, so now let's have a look here. My opa fra of, there's a conjunction. So everything before that stays the same. And instead of of, we've got punctuation. Okay, let's have a look at the rest. Ons is a pronoun. Gaan is a verb. Oh, underline. Okay, my opa fra. It's a question. So of means we need a verb after the punctuation. Gaan ons is hulle, let me just gaan hulle kom kuier. Just have a look at this one. Hulle. Let's just translate it because that one should be yulle. But I told you here at the top that ons becomes hulle, not yulle. Think about it in English. Ons, we. If you say, oh, we are going to my grandfather, then my grandfather said, you came to us. So just think about the, it depends who's part of the group. Okay, if you say, um, ons gaan sê tu, but you're not part of that ons, then it is hulle, they, because you're not part of the group. Okay, so let's look at this one. My oma sê. Vir haar dochter dat. There is the conjunction. Dat. Alright, so we've got. My oma sê. 
for her daughter. That stays the same. Now, instead of a dot, we've got punctuation. Now, what needs to change? Say is the pronoun and lake is the verb. If you don't know what the verb is, it's the word at the end. Okay. My oma say for her daughter, Yay. Then we've got the verb, like, and then the rest. Buy a mooi. So my oma say for her daughter that say buy a mooi like. My oma say for her daughter, yay like buy a mooi. Okay, next one. Die vrou fra wanneer. Wanneer is a question word, so it's going to be our conjunction. It's the conjunction, so it's going to stay there. So, die vrou fra, and then we need con, um, punctuation. Wanneer stays there. Okay, let's see what changes. Say changes in can is the verb, so it moves back. See, can gaan are both verbs, but this is an auxiliary verb, so it's the one that moves. Okay, now think Stompy. After the first thing in the sentence, the verb must be next. So now we've got can. And then the rest of the sentence stays in the same order, but say becomes ak. Because she's talking about herself. And then winkel to gaan stays the same. It's a question. So it must have a question mark. Don't forget that. I forgot it. Here at the first sentence. Here we go. So, next one. Last one. Die man say dat. Dat. There's our conjunction. So this part stays the same. The man say the dot goes away and we've got punctuation. Okay, hey must change. Say must change. And the verb is vol. Okay, so a hey becomes ak because he's talking about himself. Ak. Then we've got a verb, because it's stompy, so the verb comes second. Vol. The rest, the sentence order stays the same. So, graag. And say becomes may. And the rest, book, yes. And we close the inverted commas. Alright. So, um... I know this is a, a bit of a complicated one because there's a lot of things that needs to change and you have to be aware of many things that needs to change. So I know this is quite a quite a tricky one. It works exactly the same as in English. So try to use English and translate it. Um, but what I would suggest, because usually in an exam this counts one mark, maybe two. So what I would suggest is uh, if you're struggling with this, rather focus on the things that you can get right rather than spending a lot of time on something that you're struggling with and then get it wrong. If you're aiming to get an A, please, then you have to just do everything very, very well. <laughs> okay, so in the description below, there are some exercises. You can do them and the next video would be the answers to those questions.